Hi there folks. Well, Scott Brown, the muddy, muddy mud man, and I decided we were going to work on a wind turbine together. And uh, this is the first version I sent him. Uh, he had an idea to make a small axial flux turbine. And uh, and I said, well, let me make the, the framing for it and you do all the fussy stuff. Uh, he's, he makes his own wind blades and uh, he'll be winding the coils. The, uh, the wind blades that he makes are... Uh, are where he clamps a 2x4 down into a device that he came up with, the Muddy's wind car blade carving machine. Make sure you check his channel to see that. Um, it's a very smart idea, and uh, and I decided I'd make this hub for it. Um, it's basically, uh, as you can see, just clamps. We've got two washers that have been machined on an index, drilled out on an index, and a little spacer there to clamp that wood down based on a 1-inch uh, drill hole through the center and um, it holds it tight against the inner race of that 6305 25mm bearing there. Um, so that part works great. Uh, it will have two rotors. You're seeing one there, but um, the, uh, this is a two, uh, dual rotor system. You, uh, the system you're seeing here is something I came up with and perhaps has been done somewhere else. I just uh, used what I had and it's a split shaft. I just tapped a thread out on one side and drilled a hole and put a bolt through the other, welded it up, put it all on the machine, uh, trued it up on the lathe, and there you have it. Um, all fits together. And uh, then in the back there you can see the the, uh, the system is non-furling. He said, where's the furling? I said, there is no furling. He's like, oh, we're going to need furling. So, so uh, And the stator mounts were a little too small and some other things needed to be changed, so it was back to the drawing board. So I went ahead and drew up a new one. And um, there it is. Uh, those are inches on the left if you want to stop this and have a look. But basically, it's round about like that. And uh, it's going to need to furl. So so I came up with this. I went uh, looking around the internet. Obviously, there's all kinds of things. Um, especially Hugh Piggott, um, Chris Olson, uh, Dareland Wind Power, and all these other guys have a lot of other great ideas. And, uh, you know, I, there's, a, there's a compound angle in the back there which is uh, 35 degrees off in one direction, to hold the tail I'm talking about, 35 degrees off in one direction, 20 degrees off of that in another, and uh, and then the rest you're seeing is uh, just uh, eighth inch wall uh, channel and uh, schedule 80 pipe and uh, the, uh, the actual uh, hub steel is uh, drawn over mandrel two and three quarter um, a lot of information here, but I'm just going to give you the basics and give you a view of this. And hopefully in the future we're going to see some more. But there you see I take plate steel and I cut it out. It's a quarter inch thick. No, I don't cut it in my hand like that. Um, and don't you do that. Uh, it's very dangerous, but uh, I, I use a proper jig. I just wanted to show you how I make those circles there by uh, getting a piece of wood first. And there you see it with the uh, bearings in there and one of the rotors. So again, it will have two. Um, and that one's six inch. We're now going to a seven inch. And you're seeing that I dropped it down to three stator mounts at three eighths instead of quarter twenty like that first one. And uh, this is about as far as I've gotten on it. Um, you're going to see uh, some more updates on this. And you're going to see one of these in his hands and probably a few others um, in the near future. So... Um, again, comment, tell me what you think about it, because I know a lot of you guys are experts, and I'll tell you right now, I'm not an expert, but I enjoy making these things. And if I'm going to make one, I'm going to make ten. So, you can see uh, there's going to be quite a few of these. And um, beyond that, we're just going to have to wait and see what Muddy comes up with when you see this in his video in his hands. So, thank you very much for watching, and until next time.